Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will see the number of the smallest unoccupied chair problem which is from lead code number 1942 and we will see the optimal solution. This solution will be inspired by the My Calendar 2 problem which is from lead code number 731 and the minimum platforms problem uh, which I have already uploaded on my YouTube channel. So you can watch both these minimum platforms and My Calendar 2 problem after this video and a practice problem as a follow up for this question can be a similar problem lead code 1882 which is process task using server so let's now read the problem statement in this problem there is a party where n friends numbered from 0 to n minus 1 are attending there is an infinite number of chairs in this party that are numbered from 0 to infinity when a friend arrives at the party they sit on the unoccupied chair with the smallest number for example, if chairs 0, 1 and 5 are occupied, when a friend comes, then they will sit on the chair number 2 because all the chair numbering starts from 0 and goes to all the positive numbers. So the first positive number which is available is 2. Okay? When a friend leaves the party, their chair becomes unoccupied at the moment they leave. If another friend arrives at the same moment, they can sit on the chair. You are given 0 index 2D integer array times where time set i will be arrival of uh, ith person and the leaving time for that ith person indicating the arrival and leaving times of the ith friend respectively and an integer target friend all arrival times are distinct and we need to return the chair number that the target friend will sit on okay so before looking at any uh, example let's look at the constraint so the constraint of this problem is saying we can have n value to 10 to the power of 4 and therefore an n square algorithm should be avoided because that will make the number of operations as 10 to the power 8 and uh, you will get a TLE okay we should be having our number of operations always less than 10 to the power of 8 so I will try to avoid that let's now look at some example for better understanding in this case we are given n number of friends and we are given infinite number of chairs now if there are infinite chairs but still n friends in the worst case what might happen is all the friends can come at once and they can occupy one chair each and therefore you will never need chairs more than n you will always need chairs less than equals to n right now the third point is the arrival time and the leaving time of the ith friend will always be mentioned in the times array and you are given a target friend and uh, from the times array you have to process it in such a way that you can find out which chair will the target friend get and that chair has to be of the smallest number possible okay so in this example let's say uh, friend 0 is coming at 3 comma uh, 10 friend 1 is coming at 1 comma 5 friend 2 is coming at 2 comma 6 now this timeline is unordered okay in the question the timeline is not given as ordered our goal is to find the smallest number chair that the target friend can sit on and the constraint is the assignment of any friend will happen to the smallest available chair at that very moment so let's say that our target friend was equals to 2 which is this person right so if he is the target friend then uh, what will be the chair assignment for him so the first person coming is the friend number 1 not friend number 0 okay you see the time so first person comes in at 1 and leaves at 5 so you can imagine it like an interval for which it will occupy chair number zero okay now this second person is actually coming at time two so let's say the second person is coming at time two leaving at six so what is the smallest chair that is available for this person that is chair number one okay and therefore the answer should be one in this case right now i'm not bothered about the other uh, people who are coming after the target friend i will just simply return one and stop my entire process I hope you understood the problem now let's uh, look at the chair assignment in more detail now if the input array is let's say times okay then the index of the array means the friend number so initial input whatever is given uh, in the problem let's say it is 3 comma 5 if it is the first item then this means it is associated with friend number 0 1 comma 4 associated with friend number 1 2 comma 3 associated with friend number 2 any of these values let's pick this uh, friend number 1 you can see this one means friend number one comes at time one and four means he will leave the chair at time four whatever chair he occupies right so in order to process this uh, entire timeline it will be very helpful if you keep it ordered based on the start time so i will keep it ordered right otherwise i will have to always iterate through the entire time array and find out what is the next event okay 
so instead if you keep it ordered then i know that the next event is just the next index isn't it so if you uh, order it based on the start time then you will see friend one comes in the beginning okay one comma four two comma three and three comma five but you have to also uh, keep in mind that you should always uh, sort the index along with the given arrival and departure time because if you don't do that then it will show in the sorted array this one comma four has index zero right so you have to also keep another parameter which is friend number okay so let's say we have saved that so one comma four will have friend number one two comma three friend number two and three comma five friend number zero let's say our target friend was zero then which chair will he occupy let's say friend number one is coming at one and leaving at four occupying the first available chair that is chair zero now another friend will come which is uh, friend number two and uh, you have to always match like if the current friend is the target friend it is not so it is occupying the chair at two now you see that the chair number zero which is the smallest possible is already occupied so at two he will be assigned chair number one at two and he will be uh, vacating the chair at timeline three okay so let me remove this part because three is uh, smaller than four now after this three timeline this c1 will get vacated so the first chair will get vacated right and now when the uh, friend number zero is coming at three then it is coming at the same time so what happens is if let's see imagine that a bus is coming and you want to get into the bus so the people who want to get out at that same bus stop they will first get out and then only you will get in right that is the process which is, which is followed and therefore at three since uh, this uh, friend number two had to vacate the chair he will first vacate and that chair will become empty and now out of the available chair pool uh, this friend number zero will take the minimum numbered chair and that is chair number one itself right so he will occupy from three to five chair number one and you know that this zero is the ta target friend so that is why you will return one that means one is the smallest chair number that friend number zero can occupy right so i hope you have understood this now how to track the empty and the occupied chairs so we can imagine that we will need a number of chairs less than equals to the total number of friends and we will be given the time as an input and the index will be the friend number okay so we have already sorted this based on the timeline right or based on the start time so the target friend is let's say three and in order to process uh, the available chairs and the occupied chairs we will be creating two different sorted sets okay you can take two different set why it is sorted because i will always want the smallest chair from the chairs uh, set so that is why it has to be sorted in ascending order and also the occupied uh, chair set is actually uh, telling us that if some chair is occupied when it will be released when is the earliest time in which it is released so whichever chair has to be released at the earliest time that that should be in the front that should be on the top right so that is why it this uh, set also has to be sorted based on the leaving time of the person in ascending order okay so let's see a simple dry run for this in this case uh, when this person is coming person one is coming at one and leaving at four then you know that this one is not equals to your target friend so what you do is you will be taking the smallest chair from the empty set okay so what is the smallest chair it is zero so zero will be removed and then you will push it into the occupied chair set and you will be writing what is the leaving time that means four and what is the chair it is occupying that is chair number zero right so this is done now whenever the next event comes in you have to check if this friend is equals to the target friend if it is not true then you have to check what is the start time so the start time is two you have to remove all the people who want to get out until you reach to start time two okay so there is nobody who is leaving okay then what you do is you take the next smallest chair from the empty set so the smallest chair is one so one will be removed and when this person two will be vacating it so he will be vacating it at seven and chair one will get vacated okay now you go to the next item it is zero so the person number zero is arriving at time four now you have to remove all those chairs from the occupied set who are actually uh, leaving less than equals to four time okay so you see this uh, i mean this person here is leaving it at time four so this will be removed and chair number zero will again get added back to your pool okay now since this is a sorted set ascending order sorted so now this zero 
will be assigned uh, this chair number 0 so 0 will be removed and he will be vacating it at 6 so he will be vacating at 6 and chair number 0 is gone now now person 3 is coming check if this is the target uh, friend yes so his chair assignment will be returned as an answer now he is coming at time 8 so we need to remove all those uh, people who want to get out at a time less than equals to 8 so this person wants to get out at time 7 and the chair number vacated is 1 so 1 will get added to the pool now this person is also getting out at 6 so 6 will be removed and uh, the chair number 0 will again be made available in the empty chair set so now 0 1 2 3 is available the smallest is 0 so 0 will be assigned to this 3 and immediately you can return the answer and saying that the chair number 0 will be assigned to friend number 3 okay so this is how uh, we will be trying to solve this entire thing now how we will be managing the arriving and the leaving events at two different events so we will be using the same technique as we have been using in the sweep line 1d techniques right taking the time events we will be uh, splitting the arrival and the departure time so what we will do is we will take the arrival time let's say 4 we have taken so we will write 4 and then we will write the person number to which it is associated to right and then we will take 6 and we will write a minus 1 for this 6 so you see 6 and minus 1 minus 1 will say that it is not associated with any person number but it will say that uh, this is an event when a person is leaving okay so all the leaving events i will mark it with minus one because all the friend numbers are positive numbers starting from zero and therefore if you mark it by minus one it is an invalid friend number and this will mean that the current event is a leaving event okay so this is how i will be differentiating between an incoming uh, arrival event and the leaving event so i will separate all the events into arrival and leaving okay so if you have four entries here then you will have eight entries into the arrival and leaving events when they are separated because they will be forming a pair now we will be sorting it based on our uh, timeline so based on the first value okay what is the time so after sorting you you see this 1 comma 3 2 comma 1 are all arrival events 1 comma 3 means the arrival of friend number 3 happens at 1 you see friend number 3 arrives at 1 2 comma 1 means uh, the arrival of uh, friend number 1 is at time 2 so friend number 1 comes at time 2 4 comma minus 1 means this is a leaving event at time 4 simply okay so it does not save any friend number because we are only interested in assignment not the leaving portion okay whoever lives I, I don't care I just care about what chair gets vacated so as I said the leaving event will always happen before the arriving event if the time is same so if I have two uh, four time events you see four comma minus one and four comma zero this means zeroth friend is coming at time four and four comma minus one means at time four somebody is vacating right so if I take minus one then it also keeps it before the all the incoming arrival events right so that the chairs get vacated first instead of getting assigned okay so the negative value also helps in that way i have taken the same example and uh, this is the sorted events after splitting the entire time array so i will be assigning the chairs one by one so i know that the number of chairs will be always less than equals to n so i will be pushing first n chairs uh, into the chairs min heap okay and then uh, this one comma three means this is friend number three and this one means uh, the friend number three's arrival time is one now since friend number three is arriving at one the chair zero will be assigned to this friend and when he will be leaving we will be verifying this from the original time array that friend number three is leaving at time four so i will be pushing four which is the leaving time comma zero why are we pushing four because uh, we need to understand when this uh, chair 0 will get vacated so that I can remove it and add it back to the empty chairs pool when the time comes okay now let's see this 2 comma 1 this means friend 1 is coming at uh, time 2 so first thing what we will do is we have to remove all the items that means uh, we have to vacate all the chairs whoever are going out until time 2 so nobody is going out then the second thing we need to do is uh, we need to find out which chair is available chair 1 is available do this assignment friend once leaving time has to be seen so friend once leaving time is seven so we need to add seven and the chair it is occupying seven comma one let's go to the next item so this is four comma minus one the first thing we need to do is we need to vacate all the chairs so we see that four comma zero can get vacated because four is the leaving time and we are at four 
and which chair it is vacating it is vacating uh, chair number 0 so it will get added into the pool now this minus 1 is see, uh, saying that it is a leaving event okay so no assignment will happen so let's go to the next event which is 4 comma 0 again at 4 we will try to remove all the chairs which uh, which needs to be unoccupied now but there is no one who is uh, ready to release the chair okay now this 0 is mentioning friend number 0 so friend number 0 coming at 4 will be assigned chair number 0 so this will be popped out chair number 0 will be assigned but what will be the leaving time for this friend 0 you get to the times array and find out that it is 6 so we will push 6 comma 0 and we will move on so now we are at time 6 and uh, this is a leaving event because the second value is minus 1 so first thing we will do is uh, we will be releasing all the chairs whoever needs to go so now 6 comma 0 will be going out because leaving time is 6 right so we will be adding back this chair 0 into the empty chairs list and uh, since this is minus 1 so this is just a leaving event we will move on we go to 7 comma minus 1 the minus 1 here means that it is a leaving event the time 7 here means that the leaving event happens at 7 so we will be releasing all the chairs first until time 7 so 7 is less than equals to 7 so this chair will be released chair 1 will get added to the pool and there is nobody else to be removed so now we will move on so we are going to 8 comma 2 right now when we go to 8 comma 2 we will see which chair has to be assigned so at time 8 for person 2 which chair needs to be assigned uh, you see the smallest chair available is 0 so 0 will be assigned so 0 will be removed and uh, 0 will be added into the occupied chairs and then we will be finding out uh, for this person number uh, 2 right person number 2 what is the end time so the end time is 10 so we will be adding the leaving time as 10 and we are done but always after uh, doing this process for everybody we have to always check with the target friend is it equals to the target friend yes it was 2 so which chair was assigned it was chair number 0 so we will be returning 0 as an answer in this case okay so 0 will be our answer now i hope you have understood this this entire process will take n log n time because we, we are pushing and popping from two different heaps and uh, the space complexity for the heaps is order of n let's now look at the code this is the code as per explanation uh, we are defining PII for pair integer integer and uh, we will be given the times and the target friend so first uh, we will be taking a pair in the events array and then I will be pushing all the arrival and the departure event separately and then I will be sorting it so that everything is based on our timeline from left to right in increasing order of time now uh, here uh, we are taking two min heaps which is empty chairs and occupied chairs right and after this I will be pushing all the chairs that means all the n chairs into the empty chairs list because we know that we will never need more than n number of chairs right so after having done this we will be parsing through all the events one by one so whatever events come in I will be taking the first uh, item as the time either the arrival time or the leaving time whatever it is and the second as the friend number right the friend number can be any positive uh, number starting from 0 okay it should be greater than equals to 0 but the friend number can also be minus 1 indicating that this event is actually a leaving event right so whatever event it is first I will be freeing up all those chairs which needs to be freed up because the people have left at a time less than equals to the current time right so if people have left uh, then we will be freeing up the chairs and adding it to the empty chairs list which is actually a min heap after this if the friend number is greater than equals to zero that means it is not a leaving event it is an arrival event then we will do the chair assignment and I will be checking if the current friend number is actually the target friend and if that is true then I will return that chair is the assigned chair otherwise if this is not true then I will simply add uh, the pair that means when is the leaving time of the current friend and uh, what is the chair he will be releasing into the occupied chairs min heap okay and once this entire process is done and still we couldn't find anything then we will be returning minus one if the input is valid then we will not reach here i hope you were able to understand this entire approach if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you